So a lot of people don't even know that we exist. I think we had a bit of a bigger crowd on a more consistent basis when I was playing and I, I don't know exactly the reason for that. I think the success of the team had a lot to do with it. We went to four national championships in a six year span in the school newspaper on a regular basis. As far as the atmosphere goes though, the fans here are great. When the fans are coming in and filling the place, this is as fun of an environment to play in as there is in the ACHA. I mean obviously it's a lot more fun for these guys to play in front of people. Nobody likes playing in front of an empty stadium. As members of the American College Hockey Association, the Fighting Illini play on campus at the historic University of Illinois Ice Arena. The team does not receive funding from the university and is registered as a student organization. As far as our program, we operate mainly off of our ticket sales. Our, our players pay a small fee to, to play here, but the majority of our revenue comes from ticket sales. If we're not selling tickets, it's very difficult for us to have a program. As stated on their team website, the team is a non-varsity sport. With tuition continuously rising, players need a pay to play, which can put a burden on the players' expenses. Usually we're at the rink for about two to three hours every day during the week. We've had from four to five thirty. Friday, Saturday we have our games. We usually get to the rink around like five fifteen, five twenty. The games typically end around ten thirty. Just in terms of strict practice and game time, that's about 15 to 16 hours. We typically have a team workout once a week. Lift Monday through Wednesday morning. So I would say anywhere from 20 to 25 hours when we play at home. It's a balance of everything. It's a balance of getting enough sleep at night, doing the things you need to do to keep your body in condition to play hockey. You can't be eating McDonald's every day. It's more than just coming to the rink and playing hockey. We're a pretty close group. A lot of us pretty much hang out with each other all the time. We're always doing stuff together. So a lot of the kids on the team are really close friends. Usually a few times a week, most of us hang out, you know, spend time as a team. I think that helps on the ice. You kind of see that guys get close and you pretty much create a brotherhood here. From last year into this year, we've been successful. We've been to the national tournament. A lot of the success has come from Fabrini recruiting you know, good players. Having Nick Fabrini as our coach, he's been here, he's won two national championships, so he knows what it takes to win. It's easy to see a guy that's done it and be able to be coached by him. As a team, the lack of funding really affects us. There are some downfalls to it, not having the scholarships. We have to pay for some of our own equipment, stuff like that, so there are fees you have to pay in order to play here. We don't get access to a varsity gym that all the other NCAA sports get and we don't get stuff like Irwin Student Tutoring Center next door. Some of the other academic help that you want athletes have. Obviously we all make our way around it. We love hockey so we're here to play hockey but there obviously are some downfalls to it. There's always room for improvement. Basketball and football they get an email four times a day about tickets and games coming up and season tickets and stuff like that so, so they get a lot more uh, exposure. I think it would probably be a lack of advertisement compared to some of the other sports. Some of the other sports around campus have more access to different ways of advertising. We don't have the money to be able to fund stuff like that. The fact that a lot of people think of us as a club, even though I would argue that we operate closer to an NCAA program than a club sport, one of our biggest issues is just our ability to get out and market ourselves. We don't have a full-time staff the way that the Division I sports here do. We're not going to be on ESPN. It's not as easy for us to reach those people as it is for the football and basketball program. Take a look at social media. Since created in 2010, Illini Hockey has nearly 2,000 followers on Facebook, while basketball and football have over over 100,000 and 80,000 respectfully. When it comes down to it, it's something I've done my whole life. And it's really for a love of the game at this point. I think just coming here and being able to play in front of tons of fans and guys who come here, they've played hockey their whole life. They've played juniors, they've left home for two years to play hockey, and I don't think guys just want to give that up. As a former player here also and member of the club, I think that these guys do everything they can to, and pay out of their own pockets to be able to represent the university on the highest stage possible. Although not as popular than other sports, Illini Hockey has some great accomplishments. In the 2007-2008 season, the team finished undefeated with a 38-0 record. They were also champions of the 2005 and 2008 and have been to 18 ACHA tournaments. When we were here and ranked in the top five every year, this place was full every weekend. If we are able to get back to that point, I think that this year we have a good chance to do it. I think that the crowds will follow. People want to see a good product and I would argue that there's nothing more exciting than two good hockey teams going back and forth the fastest there is. I think that if we can take care of our end, I really believe that the students and the fan base around here will follow and hold up their end as well.